Today, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prove the Morbis theorem. Okay. The Morbis theorem is cos theta plus i sin theta to the power n cos n theta plus i sin theta n theta. So, we are going to prove how we got this equation. We got this sin t multiple angle. We call the right side a double angle. Okay. A double angle is not a general platform of complex number. So we are going to look at how we call this equation or relation. So when we take the double side, the double angle, we have cos n theta plus i sine n theta. So this is what we are going to find out first. From a polar form of a complex number, z is equal to r cos theta plus i sine theta. Equation 1. This is the general polar form of a complex number. Polar form of complex number. Let me write it in four. Complex number. We say z is equal to r cos theta plus i sine theta. So when we are given two complex number in a polar form, z sub one, z sub one is equal to r sub one cos theta sub one plus i sine theta sub one. That's equation two. We are also given a polar form of a complex number. Z sub two is R sub two cos theta sub two plus I sine theta sub two. We call this one equation three. So we are giving two complex numbers in a polar form. Two complex numbers in a polar form. Okay. So when we multiply these two complex numbers, z1 by z2 is going to give us a what a relation. So let's say let let z one equal to z sub two equal to z. R one is equal to R two equal to R. Theta sub one is equal to theta sub two equal to theta. We want to multiply these two complex numbers. We want to multiply these co two complex numbers. So in general, when we multiply two complex numbers, when we multiply these two complex numbers, it gives us z1, z2 is equal to r1, r2, Cos theta one theta two plus i sine theta one theta two so when you multiply these two complex numbers in general this is what we get but we are also giving other variables here we say z sub one is equal to Z. Z sub 2 is equal to Z. R sub 1 is equal to R. R sub 2 is equal to R. So we can interchange these variables. Wait. This one. If that's the case, then we can say Z. We are saying Z1 is the same as Z. So we say Z. Z sub 2 is the same as Z. So we say Z. 
How sub one is the same as R? How sub two is the same as R? Cos theta, theta sub one is the same as theta. Theta sub two is the same as theta plus I. Theta sub one is the same as theta plus theta. Okay. So z times z gives us z to the power two or z squared. Z squared RR is what? R squared cos theta plus theta is two theta. Theta plus theta is two theta. There is a pattern here. There is a pattern here. You get to know that these two, the same the two here, the same thing here, the same thing here. So it's appearing every side. So we can say, let's represent T2 with N. Represent 2 by N. Let me use Nova is N. N. So we are representing 2 by N. When we represent 2 by N, you say Z N is equal to R N cos N theta N theta plus I sine plus I sine two theta. Sorry, we are still representing t by n, so it's not two. It's n theta. This is another equation. Let's label it equation equation four. All right. So we now have complex number z to the power n is R n cos n theta plus i sine n theta. That's what equation four. In general form of complex number is z. But this time around, we have z to the power n. And this z to the power n, that gives us the what? The double side of the angle. Okay. So let's consider the vertical side of the angle. The multiple side. The multiple side is cos theta plus i sine theta onto bracket n. So this equation leads us to what? The double side. So you're also going to find how do we go to cos n theta plus i sin theta? This one too, I'm going to get it from what? Uh, our complex number. We had this one from our general polar form of the complex number. So we're going to get this one too from our general form of what? The complex number. So in general, the polar form of a given complex number z is r cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay. At this time, we want to compare this relation to this relation. When we compare this relation to this relation, they are not equal. Z, Z to the power n. Okay, let me label this now. Equation 5. So we compare equation 5 2 equation 4. We see clearly that Z N Z N is not equal to Z. You ask why? 
Z n is not equal to Z. The reason why it's not equal to Z is this Z is raised to the power n. And this Z is not raised to the power n. It's raised to the power 1. So if you want to make it Z raised to the power n, then you have to come back to this equation and make it exponent n. So let's make exponent n of equation 5. Then we are going to write this equation back. Z is equal to R cos theta plus I sine theta. Take, so we have to take we have to take exponent n of equation 5. We are going to have exponents at both sides. So we need, the whole equation is about exponent n, the whole equation is what? Exponent n. Then you give us z to the power n is equal to rn cos theta plus i sine theta n. At this point, z to the power n, we give us this equation, is the same as this equation. So you can say, Equation 4, let me do this one, equation 6. Equation 4 is equal to equation 6. That means Z and is equal to is equal to Z and this Zn is equation 4, the whole of this one. And this Zn is equal to equation 6, the whole of this one. You can simply say Zn. Then we write the relation here. Rn cos theta. Rn cos n theta plus i sine n theta is equal to is equal to R n cos theta plus I sine theta n. This one is equation equation 4 this one is equation 5 equation 4 equation 5 okay when you compare this one to the Morris theorem you don't have r at both sides so if you want to eliminate r to the power n you have to divide both sides by r to the power n so you divide both sides by R to the power n. R n cos n theta plus i sine n theta is equal to R n cos theta plus i sine theta. The dividing both side by R to the power n. R to the power n. This one cancels. This one passes. Then we have cos n theta plus i sine n theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power n. So this is the final. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Papa Pampe. Pa, pa, <laughs> right. Yeah, Captain.